Hi, and welcome to another Vardin video. Today I'm going to show you how you can go from this to this with the Visual Team Editor, which is a new teaming tool by Vardin. You start by enabling the team editor from this tab down here, and then you click on the plus sign to pick a component you want to style. I'm going to start with the background and the body element. I'm going to choose the global scope, i.e. a background or all backgrounds in the application. And then I'm going to give it a darker color, like I showed in the example. I can either copy and paste the code directly, or use the sliders to adjust the color and opacity. I'm going to move on to the title. So first of all, I'm going to make the color of the text white, so it shows up against the dark background. I'm also going to make the font slightly smaller, and make it italic, because I can. I'm going to move on to the checkbox components. I want the checkbox to be red before the task is completed, and then green once it is completed. I'm going to start by changing the color, and then of course the transparency as well. This slider defines the color for a checked checkbox, and I want it to be green, so it signals that the task is being completed. I'm going to make the text show up against the dark background, and then I'm also going to turn it bold, because the task is very important. And now finally I'm going to move on to the text field component and make it visible against the dark background. Like this. And now finally I'm going to make the add button more visible by making it yellow and also giving it a border so it doesn't blend in with the background. I'm going to give the border a thickness so it becomes visible, maybe like a pixel or, or maybe two pixels. And this time I'm making the text black against the yellow background. If you don't find what you want in the team editor user interface, you can also edit CSS directly. Just click on the Edit CSS button, and then it opens up the corresponding code in your IDE. So everything you do with team editor is stored in this team slash editor.css file that's in your application directory. And that's it. Team editor is currently available on a free preview. Give it a try. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.